Thank you, Ian, and uh, thanks for everyone for uh, joining us today. Uh, it's an exciting day. Uh, this is a uh, kind of an unusual timing for this, but you know, we, this is the first time we, I think we've all been in the same place together here since, uh, since we made this uh, uh, arrangement. And so it's a great opportunity for us to, uh, to share some of the good news and some of the excitement about the future of our women's basketball program. You know, this is a, uh, certainly a unique set of circumstances and, and one that doesn't work every place. Uh, but has worked here before at Purdue, so we had a little history uh, and a little confidence that we could find a way to do so. Uh, but in order for that to happen, a couple of things had to be in place. First and foremost, you have to have an existing head coach that's fully on board with the plan, the concept, and certainly the individual that you identify as the presumptive next head coach. That then begs the question that you have to find that individual, that you have to make sure you have an individual that you've, you have great confidence in that is ready and prepared and, and willing, first and foremost, to take on uh, this opportunity and, and then ultimately be our, be our next head coach. What it also requires is a little bit of checking of egos, uh, extreme collaboration, you know, and the understanding and willingness to work through what will certainly be some awkwardness and, and, and challenging moments throughout the course of a year. But I, again, knowing Sharon, knowing Katie, the relationship that they've had over many, many years, uh, I have every confidence. And I think they both go into this uh, very much eyes wide open, knowing that we're going to find a, a really positive way through this year and, and land ourselves in, in a great place. To me, as I sit here and, and think about the future of our program, I think we get the best of many worlds uh, in this situation. First and foremost, with Coach Versip, we get the, the continued benefit of her experience, her perspective, her knowledge about college basketball, about Purdue women's basketball in particular. But I think maybe most importantly, we get the benefit of her commitment to the long-term success of our women's basketball program. She has given nothing but everything she has to that end since she's been here with us at Purdue. And I know that will be the case as we work through uh, this 16th year uh, with Coach Versip in charge of our women's basketball program. I also know that she is fully committed to helping Katie acclimate to the ins and outs of running a Division I Big Ten women's basketball program. Uh, certainly Katie's had great success at Marion and that is, that is well documented and certainly something that was very attractive to us. But this is different. I think everybody knows that. We all get it. We know this is a different level and a, and a, different, uh, a different scale, a different magnitude and, and all of that. And, and, and having Coach Versip uh, and, and her team around her helping Katie understand uh, how, how to navigate that in an effective way is, uh, is really important and really beneficial to us as we think ahead and, think, and look to the future. In Katie, we get somebody who joins us as an already highly successful and, and proven head coach. We get the benefit of her fresh perspective uh, and her, her knowledge of the game as, as a player at an extremely high level, both here at Purdue, professionally, uh, overseas and, and otherwise, and, and then the knowledge she's gained as a head coach now over a significant period of years. Uh, that will be a benefit to our players as she has a chance to evaluate them uh, in, in, again, a fresh and, uh, and sort of un, unbiased way to help and review and, and, and assist with our player development program this year uh, to, take, to take a look and, and contribute to how we, how we play from an offensive and defensive standpoint, just adding, again, her, her perspective and her thoughts to what we already do. Uh, have a chance to build relationships with our current players, the young, the young ladies that are committed to our program for years ahead, uh, and then to, and to really evaluate our current roster and begin to build a foundation for recruiting to the future. I mean, that's, uh, I know when, when, when we did this previously, and, and, and Matt Painter did this with Coach Katie many years ago, one of the things that he, I think, would look back on is, is, is really had a chance to really think about what the roster wanted to look like going forward and how he might best position himself and our program to attract the right players. And I think that's, that's obviously a key to, to any successful athletic program uh, and, and no more so than in, than in, than in basketball, when men's and women's. And I think that'll be a, a great benefit this year as Katie gets a chance to really understand who we have, what we have, what we have coming, and then fill in, look to fill in gaps as we, as we look around the landscape. Our goal for this year is like it always is to have a really successful season. We, we want this to be a, a special year in every way as we celebrate 
Coach Versup and, and, and her leadership as she continues to, to lead us through this, through this 16th year of, of her tenure here with us. Uh, but we also want to set a course for the future that really clearly reestablishes Purdue as an elite program and one that is a significant player in the upper echelons of both the Big Ten and the national women's basketball scene. And I'm, I'm very, very confident and excited about that and just look forward to the months and, uh, and weeks, days, months, and, and everything that's ahead of us. So, uh, again, appreciate you joining us. And uh, if, if Coach Versup or, or Coach Sheryls would like to say anything, certainly welcome that now. If not, we'll take questions. But, Sharon, would you, anything you want to leave off with, Sharon? You know, uh, actually, Nancy Cross, who's seated in, in the uh, in the gallery here, is the one that uh, originally brought the concept up to me. And I know I think she and Sharon had talked about it a little bit. Actually, it was uh, in something that I, I think Nancy would tell you that as, as as she brought it up, I said I'm I'm very intrigued by that possibility. Uh, and, and then we spoke specifically about about Katie and about that that that, that would be the person uh, if we were to head down that path. And uh, the more I thought about it, the more enthused. I, I became, and uh, and then we set about trying to actually put it in motion, and, and thankfully here we sit today, having successfully uh, accomplished all of that. So it's a, uh, you know, it's, I, again, I, I I certainly obviously knew of our previous experience and successful experience in doing so, um, but hadn't really thought about this until until Nancy brought it up. So I, I give her and and and, and Coach for some credit for uh, sort of the the germination of that idea. Uh, just really excited, and sure. it's wonderful that, you know, um, when it came down to this situation and uh, Katie was the person. So um, we've had such an amazing relationship. We have so much respect and loyalty to one another. So just, um, you know, obviously very excited to have you right here with me. Yeah, I don't really have much to add other than I'm just thankful for the opportunity, thankful to Coach um, and Mike for the opportunity, um, and just looking forward to getting to work. You know, it wasn't like a, a certain timeline, but probably four years ago, I sat down with Katie and um, <clears throat> obviously had asked her if she wants to, um, you know, come back to Purdue at any time as an assistant coach and kind of lay that uh, foundation and legwork even four years ago. Um, you know, so whenever I um, was going to be ending my career here at Purdue, that she could take it over. It happened a little differently, um, but, you know, it, it was something that, um, I've been trying to get Katie back here for a while, um, and she's done such a great job and was able to, you know, be her own person and be that head coach, um, you know, for some time. So obviously, when uh, another opening came up on the on the staff, and it just made great sense um, to bring someone in like Katie, and she was ready, uh, and to be able to talk to her, you know, uh, during the year and that type of stuff it was really big and and really key. So um, it was something that. Uh, not so much, you know, when it was going to happen, but it was, it was always on the radar for myself. Yeah, um, what's going on, MC? Um, you know, honestly, for me, you know, just ultimately a dream come true. Even when coach calls me four years ago and we sit down at dinner, um, I just didn't think I was quite ready as a coach to take that next step. I felt like I needed to grow and I wanted to learn how to be a head coach and how to run a program. Um, you know, obviously at a different level, but still running your own program. Um, and then what we were starting to build at Marion uh, just translated and I needed that. I needed that experience. Um, and then Talking to coach this year, um, it just timing made sense for me. Uh, personally, professionally, 
Uh, just, just super, super excited for the opportunity to learn from Coach, learn what it is to, to run a Division One program in a Power Five in the Big Ten. Um, I understand the differences um, on the business side. That's the biggest jump for me because mm -hmm. coaching is coaching, um, and that's going to translate. Um, the biggest sign is, you know, I basically ran a small business, and now I get to run a Fortune 500 company. Um, and and learn, having the opportunity to learn from Coach and just absorb every every ounce of knowledge she has for the game of basketball, for the business side of it, for the office side of it, for managing um, a staff is is what I'm I'm just gonna I'm I'm looking forward to just every single day because it is it is note taking 101 and I'm just writing everything I everything down and and just trying to grab onto it all. Um, well, we've met with the, as a staff, and we, we kind of already working on a lot of different things. Um, however, uh, Katie's head's spinning right now, and she needs a little bit of rest. So right now it's all about recruiting um, and getting relationships with our players and um, talking to a lot of recruits, a lot of parents, a lot of coaches, understanding that process. Um, you know, but, um, you know, I, I tell Katie now, you know, you got to make some decisions. I said that last night. I'm like, this is your decision now. And so it, that's going to be a learning, obviously a learning curve as we continue to go. But Katie's going to have a lot of responsibility. It's just going to be having another head coach on the staff. Um, you know, offensive ideas, defensive ideas, recruiting ideas, you know, uh, depth chart. Uh, there, there's a lot of things, and obviously there's other priorities right now um, with our players right now and individual workouts, and Katie getting to know them and connecting with them is extremely important before they go home and um, touching base with people here on campus. Um, but there's definitely a, a plan in place, and uh, I'm just really excited because it's just being able to talk basketball, being able to bring that positive energy for us to communicate with uh, we've already been recruiting, and we're, it's just so great and so fun to have someone with just getting it and understanding it. So um, we've already hit some home runs with that. Mike, you know me, right? <laughs> That's a loaded question. <laughs> you know me. I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, it's as simple as that. I'm ready. Um, I was ready – I was ready. I never coached before I took over at Marion, but I was ready, and I just know it in my heart. Mike, I know you know me. I'm ready. Um, you know, obviously I'm um, finishing my career here at Purdue. Um, I've lived my dream here, um, which has been nothing but amazing, and, uh, you know, the opportunities that I've had. And, um, you know, I have other dreams, so, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, but excited for, you know, for Purdue women's basketball, excited for myself, excited for everyone that's sitting at this table. So, um, you know, you never know. I'm like a bad penny. I may show up somewhere else every once in a while. But, um, you know, I've been able to live my dream here. So it's been good. Yeah. Um, okay. Coaching is coaching, and I'll always come back to that. Coaching is coaching, and it translates. Just like making shots somewhere in, in one gym and you go to another gym, it just, it just translates. That's, that's the idea. Um, 
you got to get good players in here. Um, obviously, you're part of the Big Ten, so my recruiting level changes a little bit. But at the same time, that never dropped off at Marion. Um, we brought in two Indiana All-Stars this past year, and that's kind of unheard of at the NAI level. Um, and recruiting is relationship building. Um, building those relationships like Coach and, and Beth and Michael have been great to me so far, helping me build and start those relationships. Um, and, and that's that's my job. I, I, I You know, Paint told me the same thing. Get out and recruit. Um, and, and, and get kids in here that, that want to play your system, that, that believe in your system, that believe in you, and that will, you know, run through a brick wall. And um, I've, I've been so fortunate that I've had kids play for me that are going to just run through a brick wall. And that's part of recruiting, you know, getting those kids to believe in you and trust in you, believe in the system, know that they're going to ask you to, you're, you're going to ask them to run through a brick wall, you know, I'm going to do the same thing for them. Um, and that's, that's what coaching is. It's relationships. It's not, it's not X's and O's. It's, it's, you know, that's important. That's an, that's an important piece of it. Um, and guys, I mean, you watched me play, right? I wasn't quick. I wasn't athletic. I didn't jump out of the gym, but I could think the game. And that has helped translate into the coaching world for me. Um, and, and getting good players in here that believe in you, believe in me, uh, believe in the system, believe in Purdue um, and what Purdue stands for. Um, I'm excited to, to, to have the P back on my chest. This is home. I know the first day I'm driving up here, and I, I was nervous. It's an hour and a half drive from Indy, and I was nervous, right? And as soon as I turn on Northwestern, I see Mackey Arena. I just felt at home, and uh, that's just how I know I'm ready. I know, I know, I know it's going to take some work. I know um, it's going to take some time, but uh, I'm ready to grind. Um, you know, I was joking with with Coach. I I think I already got a couple white hairs in here, so um, I got to figure out what to do with all that stuff. But uh, I'm ready to work, and uh, and I. I, I know this, uh, coach chose me for a reason, and I will not disappoint her. Yeah, um, well, I'm a firm believer. I, I want to play fast. I, I like to push the tempo. I like a flow into, into the offense. Um, I want to score a lot of points. Um, obviously, grind things out in the defensive end if you have to. And, um, but I want to I be able to play fast. I want to be able to have kids that can score the basketball um, and think the basketball game. Um, because, you know, when you get thinkers and, and people who understand, it's easy to, to make adjustments during games. But um, you, uh, you got to have a thoroughbred when you go to the Kentucky Derby. And uh, we got we to gotta get out there and we got to land those kids. Um, and just excited to, to build those relationships, get kids in here that can score the basketball, get kids in here that want to play for Purdue. Um, and, and, you know, just understanding what Purdue across your chest means. Because um, it, it means something. And it, it means something to coach, means something to me when I played here. And uh, it's, it's just a matter of, of getting those kids in here. Yeah, hi, Olivia. Um, honestly, it is, it's every aspect. Um, and Coach could probably tell you the same thing here. Um, every day you want to grow and get better um, in, in every aspect. Um, I've got to learn a lot of things on the business side, but I also can't wait to just dive into Coach and pick her brain um, about offensive sets, defensive sets, out-of-bounds plays, you know, every press breakers, everything that goes along with that. I just... I think that's what I'm most excited for for the next year of my life is that I get to actually sit back and like learn and soak up from somebody who's been doing it for you know 30 years coach or or whatnot I mean I I guys I tell people this all the time I was I was an all big 10 performer for three years and I was never even on the radar for to be an all-american and I got to play for coach one year and she made me an all-american so the opportunity to, to work with her for another year I, I just can't as a basketball player, what she did for me, I can't imagine what she's going to do for me as a coach, and that's probably what I'm most excited about. Um, I know she's probably going to have to, you know, push me down. I've never had to, 
to sit down during a game, so it's going to be a little bit different for me. Um, I'll get you Because I've always, I've always walked the sideline, but uh, no, I, I think, uh, I think it's going to work out really well. And like I said, um, the lady to the right of me means more to me than I can probably possibly express. Um, and I feel, I feel responsible to make sure we do this thing the right way. Yeah, and it's the same thing that that coach was able to do. That that she was here when the program started, um, and she, you know, she helped lay the foundation for, you know, for for all of the 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 successful programs that we've had. Every every successful season we've had. I mean, coach was a part of that from the very beginning. I mean, she's the first Indiana Miss basketball that plays here, um, you know, and and now we're 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 going on number ten coming here to 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 Purdue. I mean, that's just special, and I think that's important that. That we that those kids here in Indiana, the best kids learn. You know, they they they've got to remember that that Purdue is the best in-state program, um, and that's that's the message that I, I want to try to send. That it just that that pee on your chest, it just does something. It does something when later in life to you. Um, an, an education for Purdue. Um, you know, people just know what Purdue is, and uh, that's that's the relationship. Um, obviously, having played here. Um, and, and we were successful. We had some good runs. Um, and that's, that's just the next step, you know, getting them to buy into to what this program is and what it is all about. Um, I mean, it's the reason why I came here uh, to, to wear Purdue across my chest. And it's the reason why we're sitting here today is because it just, there's just something so special about, about the word Purdue when you wear it across your chest and you get to represent it. Right now, we uh, probably need one more post player, and then maybe possibly just the best all-around player that we can get. Um, we got a commitment early this morning, um, which isn't out yet, but which is really, really exciting. And um, so we, we filled it in very nicely. Uh, we've got some um, really good and experienced players coming in, and the players that are returning are extremely positive and so excited about the changes that are occurring and, um, you know, in their own locker room as well as uh, us, you know, sitting up here. So, um, but mainly we need a post. Uh, obviously, one of our incoming freshmen, um, uh, Sasha Washington, decommitted. Um, so we feel that that's a priority. We needed a point guard. We needed a, a post and then maybe an all-around best player. Um, I cannot. <laughs> I don't fumble yet. <laughs> uh, she's a hybrid. Uh, she can play a 4-3 spot, um, can shoot the three, three-level player, pull up jump shot, um, can get to the rim, can defend um, pretty much any position. So we kind of, you know, we really needed that kind of, we call it that hybrid spot that can defend down low and do a variety of things, have great handles, um, just got good size and athleticism. So extremely happy about me day. Recruiting, 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 um, recruiting. Um, 
I'm going to sit down. I'll, I'll, if Pank has some time, I know he's super busy, uh, but he's been he's been so great to me even when I was here and this transition was happening with him and Coach Katie. He's been great to me over the years, um, ever since I graduated. And um, looking forward to, 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 you know, dissecting his brain a little bit because um, his teams have been really, really fun to watch um, over the past few years. And, uh, you know, just another resource for me, and, and I'm going to take advantage of it. If he allows it, I'm going to take advantage of it.